Alzheimer's disease is the sixth leading cause of death in the United States. Alzheimer's is a form of dementia in which memory and cognitive function deteriorates over a period of several years. The cerebrum is the first part of the brain affected when the early detection symptoms of Alzheimer's begins to show. Some of these symptoms include short-term memory loss, difficulty with familiar tasks, withdrawal, decreased judgment, and changes in mood or personality. These are all signs to look out for when detecting Alzheimer's in its early development. My grandfather Marcel was diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease in 2007. At the time, I didn't understand much about the disease and I thought it was a normal part of aging. He would forget names, addresses, and would even get lost driving to familiar places and would need somebody to come get him and bring him home. And eventually he could no longer drive. Alzheimer's disease is a progressive illness and the brain becomes increasingly damaged over time. My grandfather's ability to remember, understand, communicate, and reason gradually declined. And as the disease progressed, the changes became more marked and he needed more assistance with his day-to-day -day living. My grandmother would always be cooking for him, helping him eat and get dressed in the morning. He became more irritable and he couldn't control his emotions. He couldn't do things for himself and his mood swings became more exaggerated. He would grow irate, anxious, and melancholy. His memory worsened and his inability to recognize familiar faces became more prevalent. My grandfather had a difficult time recognizing close family members, like my sister and I. He had brief moments of lucidity, but they were few and far between. One day my grandmother was trying to help him and he burst out into a tantrum and tried to strike her. After that he was sent to a nursing home and my grandmother tried to spend as much time with him as she could. He was treated with different types of mood stabilizers and medications to help with the outbursts and tantrums. He needed care all hours of the day and could no longer function on his own. As the disease became more severe, it started to affect the cerebellum, which is the part of the brain that controls coordination, muscles, and balance, eventually affecting the brainstem, which controls breathing, digestion, and heart rate. Eventually, his ability to walk was impaired and he became confined to a bed in a wheelchair and in 2010, my grandfather passed from Alzheimer's disease. There is currently no cure for Alzheimer's disease. There were no treatment options for my grandfather when he was diagnosed because he was too far along. My grandparents got a dog at home to help him cope with his illness. Today, there are many treatment options available for early detection of Alzheimer's. Holistic medicines and pharmaceuticals such as ginkgo biloba, fish oil, and 5-HTP are believed to help prevent or slow down the progression of Alzheimer's and can support healthy cognitive function. If someone you love is showing symptoms, it's important to see a doctor for an early diagnosis. Taking care of our bodies can have major effects on preventing Alzheimer's in the long term, and we should have healthy diets, maintain a healthy blood pressure, and keep our minds and our bodies active. Since there is currently no cure, researchers hope to better understand Alzheimer's. There are charities and walks to NAD that go all over the country to help raise money and research in hope to one day find a cure.